Hi folks, I'm Dave Balkan, a Balkan Sorrel Waterman. And I want to give you a little tutorial on uh, how to tempor temporarily repair a lead water service line. This is something that my guys uh, routinely do for our customers. Uh, and again, the emphasis is on temporary because once a lead line starts to leak, you have to replace it. In New York City, that's actually the code. But sometimes it's leaking and you know, you're getting flooded or you're panicky. But there are two ways that it can be temporarily remedied. So what I'm gonna do, I took a piece of lead, I smashed it closed, I put a valve on it, I pressurize it on one side so it's simulating an active lead water line. And you might get a laugh out of this because I'm gonna put a hole in it. Maybe it gets sprayed in the face. We're gonna find that out too. Not yet. Lead is a thick wool pipe, by the way. It's malleable. That's why you can temporarily repair it. And it, you know, you can't move it. Now we have a leak. Oh my God, cool bulking. No, that's a joke. That's a joke. I'm only half a joke. What I'm going to do is, first I'll do it the easy way. This is a clamp. It's an all-around repair clamp. I doubt if it even costs $10. So you put it around the lead. You make sure you put it around. That got me in the face. I, I fulfilled my promise. I'm going to put it around the other way so you can better see what I'm doing. You want to make sure, of course, that the rubber gasket inside is covering the leak. You want to tighten the bolt down. This is probably something that, you know, a handy old owner could do. But again, if we're, if, if, one of my guys is on a call for a broken water main. We'll just do this for you as a favor. We're not going to even charge for it. You don't really have to go crazy tightening it either. Let's see if that worked. So there you go. Now, again, that's a temporary repair. Once lead starts to leak, once you have a pinhole, that means that line is shot. The leak will grow. It will start leaking in other areas. You have to change the line, uh, and, and, you know, and if, if this is your home and you have a family, you don't want to be drinking out of lead water line. Now I'm going to take this apart and I'm going to show you how in the old days and still how it can be done without using a clamp. The second way that a lead water service line, the have a little a, can usually be repaired is because lead is a malleable material. That means with a screwdriver and a hammer, you can move it around and you can usually use the surrounding lead to close the pinhole in the leak. Now, unfortunately for me, this is more challenging because I made the hole with a nail. So the inside is a pinhole leak. The outside is the, is the round part of a nail. But I, I used to do this actually uh, routinely to help folks out when I was going out to the estimating. Let's see how I do now. Years. Years, years on the shelf. It's a piece of it. Now, I don't have it complete, but I think you get the idea. If I work on this, I could temporarily stop this leak. And if it was a heavy leak, I could absolutely slow it down substantially until a permanent repair could be done. Because that, you can see from what it was to what it is. If I worked on this, you know, further, I could stop at 100%, but maybe it's dripping now. And the, the real whole point is, if you have a leak on a lead line, you can substantially eliminate or reduce the water that's leaking out to make an emergency, a, a not emergency. But again, the same way you can repair it because it's malleable, is the same way that's going to open up again and potentially much worse than what it was originally. I hope that helps you guys out there, you folks that still have lead water lines and run into uh, what you think is a calamity, maybe not so much. Thanks for your time.